Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about 20 hidden details you might have missed in the GTA 6 trailer. So the GTA 6 trailer came out almost a year ago already. It dropped on December 4th, 2023. It was supposed to come out on December 5th, but because somebody leaked it, Rockstar said, screw it. Here you go. It was around 6 or 7 p.m. when I saw it for the first time. It kind of worked out in my favor because otherwise at 9 a.m. the next day on December 5th, I was going to be at work and I'd have to watch it on my phone. But I was at home on December 4th and Rockstar just tweets, uh, somebody leaked our trailer, go watch it on YouTube. And I was like, oh shit. So uh, I was able to watch it on my big screen TV. Now, I, I wish people wouldn't leak shit it, it ruins it for everyone like uh, everyone working on gta 6 i'm sure they were really looking forward to being in the office at 9 a.m on december 5th and uh, having everybody worldwide see their trailer at the same time but uh it, that would have been an experience in and itself uh like you know like live chatting with people like holy shit this is gta 6 like look at this absolutely insane but yeah today we're going to talk about 20 hidden details you might have missed in the gta 6 trailer i know the trailer's been out for almost a year now so we, we've all probably just scanned this uh this trailer like a million times uh over just to to look at every minute detail but uh there are some things that i have but there are some things that I, uh, but there are some things that I noticed that uh, maybe you didn't. But there are some things that I noticed, and I thought I would share it with you. Uh, maybe you have noticed it, maybe you haven't. But uh, a lot of these details are just going to make the open world experience so much more immersive, and uh, that's a big word, keyword when it comes to GTA 6 immersion or immersive. But yeah, GTA 6 is going to be a next level experience, hands down. Now, before we dive into the video, I do want to mention I am doing a GTA 6 giveaway. All I'm asking is for you to hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. If I reach that goal, I will pick one lucky subscriber to give away a free copy of GTA 6 when it comes out. Now I'm going to up the ante a little bit here. If I reach 15,000 subscribers by the time GTA 6 actually comes out, I will pick two subscribers to win a free copy. So diving into the first frame of the GTA 6 trailer, we have what looks like a bridge, got cars crossing over the bridge. Uh, in the background, it looks like we have the prison. And uh, so uh, one of the few details I wanted to point out in this frame is just look how hazy it looks. And that is, it's not a uh, hidden detail. It's like right in front of your face, but the haziness looks absolutely incredible. And it's like one-to-one -one with the state of Florida. And I could say that because I live in the state of Florida. So it looks absolutely incredible. And then if you zoom all the way into the right in the background, you have what looks like three smokestacks. I believe those were seen in the leaked footage, so I thought that was a pretty cool detail to point out. Also, it looks like it's probably going to be some sort of industrial area, obviously, maybe like a factory or a power plant. So that's going to be really interesting to explore, definitely, so I cannot wait for that. And then obviously, it's not a hidden detail. I'm probably going to point out hidden details and obviously not hidden details, but you could see the prison in which uh, Lucia is probably at in the next shot. So there's not too much to point out in this uh, frame here. It's just a barbed wire fence, got some birds. Uh, but one thing I wanted to point out, it looks like the prison is probably on like the, like right on the coast because in the background, you can't really tell, but behind the trees, it just looks like open ocean. So I don't know if it, that's gonna be on the Gulf Coast side or if that's gonna be the Atlantic Ocean, but I thought that was a pretty cool detail to point out. Looks like the prison is going to be on the actual coast. So in this frame, the one detail I wanted to point out was the painting behind Lucia. Uh, this painting kind of uh, stood out to me because it's almost like a reference to, it to me looks like the Alamo Sea in San Andreas. Uh, you got like a little sailboat in the water and then you have the mountains in San Andreas. I don't know if this big mountain uh, and like the foreground is Mount Chiliad and then you have the, the back mountains, which I'm looking at my GTA 5 map. Now you have Mount Chiliad and then you have Mount Gorda and the San Chinisky mountain range. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I thought that 
w- was maybe like a little homage to GTA 5. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought that was a pretty cool touch. I don't know if that's what the developers were going for, but to me that gives Alamo Sea vibes. And maybe not even the Alamo Sea, maybe just out in the Pacific Ocean, like looking at the mountain ranges, but I thought that was pretty cool. And then you have this beautiful uh, frame here that shows the Vice City skyline. This is one of my favorite shots in the trailer. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot like, I cannot put into words how incredible this scene is, and I cannot wait to explore every just every inch of that map. But in the background here, if you uh, zoom in, in, in to the right here, uh, you can see what looks like water. Uh, so that's going to be an inner coast line. Uh, obviously, we know that's already a thing in Vice City, but in real life, yeah, th- that's a real thing. We have the intercoastal. So you have the beach, and then you have a little bit of land, and then you have an intercoastal line. Uh, we had that when I lived in Clearwater. We had a uh, intercoastal, so that was a really cool. The boats would go by. Uh, there's a lot of bars and a lot of activities to do on the intercoastal line, a lot of houses and mansions. So I thought that was a really cool touch for Rockstar to add in. And you could see the intercoastal line in one of the uh, other shots in the trailer when it's going over the uh, the toll booth uh, uh, road. But I thought that was a pretty cool touch that the intercoastal is going to be in the game, and that's going to be really cool to explore. So this one's pretty obvious. Like it's been a big talking point. It's got the like the 3D interiors, but I don't know if that's going to be like if this building is actually enterable. You can go inside, or if it is just going to have those 3D interiors. But I think. Uh, Either way, it's still going to add a whole level of immersion to GTA 6 because whether you can go inside these buildings or not, the windows aren't just going to be uh, printed uh, 2D stickers or assets plastered onto a uh, window where it has no three-dimensional space. So that's going to be really, really cool to see uh, and look inside these buildings and see how detailed Rockstar really went with the interiors of these buildings. And this one's really not a hidden detail. It's like right in front of our face, but obviously you see all the wildlife. But look beyond that, you're going to see uh, just look how far the land goes, like way in the distance. You have a tree line. Uh, and uh, kind of in the middle there, you have some tree lines, like different patches of woods. And I, I can guarantee, like in a couple of these different patches of woods, we're gonna have mysteries to solve. They're gonna, you're gonna find a body. Uh, something is. It, it's going to be. Uh, it's just going to be really cool to explore. And if Rockstar goes the route of having the same uh, darkness, like if you, you watch the GTA 6 leak, there's a, a, a shot where Lucia walks out of a club and uh into like an alleyway and it's like super dark so imagine running from the cops and then you have the volumetric clouding and ray tracing and you have like a helicopter spotlight pointing down on you when you're inside of one of those patches of woods and it's kind of just like the light is shining through the trees like how absolutely incredible is that going to be so i thought the patches of woods here and like how how far in the distance the woods goes. Like, this is going to be a really, really cool spot to explore. So we have a lot going on in this shot here. Um, this shot is probably one of the most popular and most reacted shots um, in the GTA 6 trailer. Uh, over to the left here, we have uh, this guy spraying suntan lotion on her, on this chick. And you can see her body is, like, it's, it's moist from the sunblock spray and it looks absolutely like incredible like the reflection of the sunlight looks insane uh every body is different every you know every uh, skin tone uh each person has different tattoos they're wearing something different you have people down here on their phone while laying on the beach you got this guy over here wearing airpods i'm not sure i probably just went over like four or five different details but it's absolutely incredible this shot could you could look at the shot all day and find something new so in this frame you have lucia and jason driving lucia's obviously probably drunk as hell uh having a good time i <laughs> can't you know you can't blame her uh but you you see the car in front of them kind of in the uh it's kind of blurred out due to the uh, depth of field but uh, you have a guy uh, popping out the window there, recording Lucia. So I thought that was really, really cool. That's probably a very obvious detail, uh, but if you didn't notice it, uh, hopefully I was able to point it out for you. This shot here, it's absolutely incredible. Um, the attention to detail looks like a little car meet. Uh, everyone, again, every NPC looks different. They look like their own unique person with their own unique life. 
Uh, one thing I wanted to point out was the power lines here. The power lines look absolutely incredible. They look like one-to-one -one real life power lines you would see in a in a part of a town uh, like such as this. You know, usually in um, the like the city, usually the city doesn't have above power line uh, above ground power lines. They have like underground power. But uh, so in a, in a part of the city like this, to have power lines kind of just wrapped in a loop like that and uh, kind of tangled. It looks absolutely incredible and the attention to detail. And I'm wondering if the power lines are going to be like if you can go through them like in GTA 5 or if they're going to be like, if they'll react. I don't know if they're going to go that far with the physics. Uh, like if you like fly a helicopter through the uh, power lines in GTA 5, you'll just go right through them. But uh, so I, I would like to see what Rockstar does. So this is the frame I was talking about before the toll booth road. Uh, so this looks like it's going to be the intercoastal line and it looks like we're going to get toll booths back. Uh, which is really, really cool. Um, one thing that uh, was not in GTA 5, there were tolls, but uh, you could you just drove through them. In GTA 4, you had to actually stop and pay, and if you didn't, the cops were going to come after you. Hopefully Rockstar added that feature back in so you can actually stop and pay. Uh, but yeah, this looks like the intercoastal line here again, and then if you go farther up the road, uh, there's gonna the beach is going to be beyond those buildings in the distance, so that's that's really cool. This shot here, one of the other popular shots uh, in the GTA 6 trailer, um, it, this guy down here, the homeless guy, obviously, has been pointed out so many times, but if you didn't notice for some reason and you weren't aware, uh, he has an iguana on his shoulder. So I wonder if he's going to be like a Strangers and Freaks mission where you can walk up to him and interact with him. Obviously, you'll be able to interact. Um, the interaction is probably going to be really good in GTA 6, interacting with all of the NPCs. So I'm sure we're definitely going to be able to interact with him, but I wonder if he'll send us on like a side quest or something. But that's going to be interesting to see when we're actually able to play the game. So this shot here is absolutely incredible. Another one of my favorite shots in the GTA 6 trailer. This is the uh, the, the Florida Keys or the Leonida Keys, whatever Rockstar is going to, to, to call them. Uh, but you have this weather blimp up here. It's a real blimp in the state of Florida in the Keys. That, uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, I don't think it's a weather blimp. I'm not 100% sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong. It might be a weather blimp, but I think it is also to find uh, stragglers, like people like trying to uh, illegally immigrant or, you know, come into the United States uh, on boats from like Cuba and shit. So I think that's what it, what it is. I think it's a Coast Guard thing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But if you look down here on this little island, you you have what looks to be a campfire so somebody camping down there uh that looks really really cool maybe they're doing some naked and afraid i don't know <laughs> you know but uh, if you didn't notice that it's a very small thing um that i didn't notice at first i had actually somebody pointed it out to me and i thought that was really really cool so this frame here um it's Obviously, there's an alligator walking into a convenience store, but if you look past that and look over here to the right at the toilet paper, or it looks like uh, paper towels, the packaging, like, it looks to be separate assets. It's probably all one asset, but it looks like each roll in the packaging is its own asset, and they have this, like, this plastic wrapping around it. Obviously, like in real life, you have plastic wrapping around, you know, paper towels when you buy them at the store but uh they it looks absolutely incredible it looks insane it looks like uh, there's going to be physics to them you're going to be able to like blow them up with a shotgun maybe and they'll, they'll fly everywhere but the, the the reflections on the plastic look insane and i cannot wait to see how just the surrounding like objects react to what you do like whether you shoot these objects with a shotgun or you walk into them like how are they going to react so this is going to be really really cool so if that's something you didn't notice hopefully i was able to point that out to you but that those reflections look absolutely incredible on the that packaging and then uh this uh scene here we have uh looks like an aero gas station an obvious um uh homage to uh sunoco the real life gas station because it looks like over here on the the left it says arrow on the right it looks like it's proud like maybe like the proud sponsor of a uh, the rockstar universe nascar it looks like that's what that might be that little logo there it's hard to make out um but yeah really really cool this scene here uh this guy's watering his grass in a thong in the rain it, it is raining in this scene you could see the raindrops but in the back this yard i'm really like excited to explore i don't know what what it is about it 
uh, but in the back you have a pool, an above ground pool, which looks really cool. And then you can actually see inside his house. I don't know if it's going to be because you're going to be able to go inside his house, or if it's just that 3D interior uh, that a lot of games are doing nowadays, like Spider-Man and, and things like that. But uh, you, the, you can actually see inside his house. So just not to be creepy or anything, but you could kind of you know, be like a peeping Tom and like, what's going on in there, you know? You're going to be able to explore every building, whether you can go inside it or not. You're going to be able to look inside and uh, see some assets and see like different things. And uh, so it's, it's going to be really, really cool. So there you have it. Those are some of the details that I wanted to go over. Some of them probably very obvious and you probably already knew, but if you didn't, hopefully I was able to point some out for you. Um, we're just getting antsy here. We're, we're ready for trailer two. I don't know when we're going to get it. I mean, GTA 5's trailer came out on November 2nd, 2011, and we got more information from Rockstar in uh, August of 2012. We got screenshots. And then the second trailer came out on like November 12th, November 14th, 2011, or I'm sorry, 2012. Uh, so it was a year in between trailers, but at least we still got some information in between. We got screenshots, but Rockstar has been radio silent for almost a year now with no new information on GTA 6. So uh, I don't think we're going to get anything this week. That would be cool. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's a Tuesday, like I said. Let's keep our eye on Tuesdays um, for the remainder of the year uh, because I think, you know, Rockstar is close to announcing something. Maybe we will this week. I don't know. I'm not going to hold my breath, but uh, I wouldn't be uh, disappointed if tomorrow we wake up and uh, Rockstar is like, here's some screenshots. <laughs> so um, leave your thoughts and opinions down below on when you think we'll get more information. Doesn't necessarily have to be trailer two when you think we're going to get more information on gta 6 and uh, feel free to also let me know if there are any hidden details that you uh uh noticed in the gta 6 trailer and uh, when trailer two drops i will definitely do a reaction and we'll do more hidden details like we're gonna definitely analyze every uh frame of that trailer too as well especially also the screenshots too if they drop screenshots so uh yeah if you enjoyed this video and enjoy my content, be sure to hit subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Again, if you subscribe, you are in it to win a free copy of GTA 6. If I reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, we are so close. 9,400. We are so close. So please hit subscribe and be sure to hit like and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos I post. My buddy and I just uh, started a podcast as well, so go check it out. The link to it is in the description. But until next time, you guys take care.